check out the Odin too. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's ET. This is ETA Prime. He's super dope. We're gonna be taking a first look at the all new Ain Odin. I just I click on stuff and I just like it. Mainly because of the chipset they opted to use, and just knowing what kind of performance this can put out, I think this is gonna be an absolutely amazing little handheld. Now, obviously, the one I have here is their transparent purple version. I personally call it atomic purple. I have that. See, we've got some RGB. Mine. I have the first one. Sticks and down the sides. Now, with these transparent versions, you will see some hot spots, but keep in mind they do offer see. solid versions. They've got white. They've got the retro and the. Black. I don't have the but second one. I just have the first one. Much more uniform on the solid version. They actually put, so, yeah, uh, with what they've done they here. light up here now, it looks like. Really good. And this thing is Mine doesn't. Some amazing performance. Now, initially when it wasn't really out, clear. I didn't think they'd... It wasn't really, uh, on their website, they didn't really state if it was, um, would light up. It would or it wouldn't. It just made it sound like all of them would light up. But it looks like they're doing it on this one, which is cool. Such a powerful chip set. But this does have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. 8 so Gen 2. I'm making this video. It is the most powerful Android handheld on the market right now. And just and... the overall design, you can see that this is a much smaller handheld than a lot of the X86 handhelds on the market, which makes it really comfortable to hang on to for long periods of time. And when it comes to I.O., down here at the bottom, we do have a 3.5 millimeter audio okay. jack and USB type. We have those too. Charging the battery up syncing the device to your PC and it will do 4K 60 video out. So we've got a full function USB. Wow, 4K. Here. Up top, we've got a micro SD compartment and micro HDMI. Now, right there. Only do 1080p 60, so if I do connect this Mine's to right display, right in here. That USB -C on the bottom. And finally, it's covered. I like the covered our still. Volume rocker and our power button. Power button, so like volume rocker. It's a very comfortable handheld and it's very comfortable. really thin compared to X86. But remember, we're rocking an arm chip here and it's running. Uh, they spread out these buttons down here. We can do on something like the Steam Deck. And they added one more up here. They opted to use here. This thing is going to be great. We still have the back buttons. Android gaming and even play. So the Odin 1 versus Odin 2. This is going to far exceed the X86 counterparts on the market right now because we are using an ARM CPU. Now, when it comes to the specs of the new Odin 2 for the CPU, we've got that Snapdragon 8 Gen huh. 2. This is an 8 core SOC. We've got one core. Wi Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3. That's awesome. Gigahertz, two A715 cores running at 2.8. Two A710 cores running at 2.8. Damn. Three A510 cores Wait. running at 2 gigahertz. We also have the Adreno 740 GPU. It's got active cooling built in, so we don't need to worry about thermal throttling. And the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can definitely reach the maximum performance for long periods of time. You can pick this up in a few different storage and RAM variants. 8 gigs up to 16, but all of them are going to be using really fast LP DDR5X RAM. When it comes to storage, 128 up to 512, and it's using UFS 4.0. I did some transfers from an external SSD to the Okay, I'm I'm jealous of this. How fast everything went. This UFS 4.0 is crazy. This purple looks brighter too. Disk benchmark, but when it Mine comes looks to a little cloudy. Got a 6 inch IP on the older version. 1080, dual front facing stereo speakers. And these are some of the first devices to come to market. Uh speakers on here are facing down on the old edition. Wireless speeds. Again, we will take a look at some benchmarks there. It's got Bluetooth 5.3, Bluetooth 5.3 battery with 45 watt quick charging capabilities, and this is running Android 13. Plus, we've got the Odin launcher right out of the box. Yeah, Odin launcher is dope. Okay, so first and foremost, this is an Android device. As you can see, very reminiscent. It sure, kind it of sure is. Phone. We've got the rounded icons. So you can change all this if you want to. We also have full access to Google Play. Don't have to do any kind of setup or anything like that. All you nope. need to do is sign in. You can download your favorite apps directly from the <laughs> I don't know how to say nope. Has added a lot of settings. That's cool. Let's see what else we have. When I when I watch videos, this is one, one thing I want to say is when I watch videos. Check it out.